In this lesson, we're going to talk about light energy. And when we're talking about light energy, very simply put, we're talking about a form of energy that we can see. In the last lesson, we learned about sound that travels as vibrations. It's a form of energy we can hear. Light is the form of energy that we can see. And a light wave basically is a wave of, or rather waves of, electromagnetic energy. Now we have something that's called the electromagnetic spectrum, and this is something we cover more in later science classes, but basically the important thing to understand is light waves, just like sound waves, have the same properties of frequency and amplitude. And based on the frequency of a light wave, it determines, first of all, how we see it, and second of all, if we can see it. As we look at the electromagnetic spectrum, we see things like gamma rays. These are these very, very, very tiny wavelengths that are, you know, invisible to the human eye, things like X-rays, ultraviolet rays. We also have larger waves like infrared rays, radio waves, things like that, that we also can't see, but there's this tiny little range right in the center of that electromagnetic spectrum that makes up the visible light spectrum. So visible light, as we said, is really a very tiny part of the electromagnetic spectrum, but it ranges all the way from violet on one end, the shortest wavelength, to red on the other end is the longest wavelength of the visible light. Now, we talked about light having the properties of a wave, but light travels as a wave in a straight line. And light travels very, very quickly, much faster than sound. It actually travels at a speed of 186,000 miles per second. That's not miles per hour, that's actually miles per second. So light's traveling incredibly fast. That's why, you know, when you turn the light switch on in the room, it doesn't take a couple seconds to see the light. We see it essentially instantly. Light from the sun reaches us in just you know, a very short period of time because it travels so quickly. Now, when light strikes an object, several things can happen to it. And it's important to understand the different ways light can behave when it, when it hits an object. The first thing light can do is reflect off. Now, we think of looking in a mirror and we see our reflection. That's because the light's bouncing off the mirror, allowing us to see the light that's going into it. And when light strikes a reflective surface, it bounces back in the opposite direction. Some substances might reflect all light. Other substances might just reflect certain colors of light. So when we see, for instance, a red, a red shirt, red piece of paper, we see that because that particular surface is only reflecting red light. It doesn't reflect the other colors. So the colors that we see are the colors that are being reflected back. Refraction occurs when light actually travels through an object, but as it passes through, it bends. And when light is refracted, it can actually distort the light wave and actually kind of send different frequencies of light in different directions. If you've ever seen a prism, uh, there's one of those in the slide illustration, and when the light shines through a prism, it actually takes the white light from the sun, it bends through the prism, and it breaks it into a rainbow, we could say, or it breaks it into the different colors of the visible light spectrum because the light's bending and the different frequencies of light bend at different rates. You might also notice if you take a spoon, set it in a glass of water, the spoon looks almost detached from the handle that's sticking out because the light as it passes through the water is refracting and it makes you see it just a little bit different. Sometimes it looks a little magnified, it looks at a little different angle because light is being refracted or bent. The third thing that can happen to light though is this idea of absorption where the light hits an object and it doesn't bounce back. It absorbs the light energy. Um, that's the reason why if you take a black object and sit it outside in the sunlight, that object gets very hot because it's actually absorbing that energy rather than reflecting it off. A white object would reflect that energy and bounce it off, so a white object would tend to stay cooler, but it's because of the way that they reflect those electromagnetic waves, that light energy. As we mentioned earlier, the way we see colors and the way we see objects is based on how they reflect light. Different objects absorb different frequencies or different colors. Different objects reflect different frequencies or colors. So the combination of colors that's being reflected will give us the color that we see when we look around us at different objects. 